This is Visual to Vocal 2013. The project is a collaboration between English Touring Opera, creative staff at the gallery and of course the participants which are people with dementia and their carers or partners. One of the added elements of this project is including students from Dulwich College and a student from the Royal College of Music and this really gives it a lovely intergenerational feel. We come together to take part in a project that's really about bringing the paintings to life and giving them a life through song. We're looking at pictures in the Dulwich Picture Gallery and we're being inspired by those pictures to create new music. We are creating a song cycle and we're performing what we've built up over these 10 weeks in the gallery at the end of the project. The routine of a session is quite important and we've been trying to stick to the same thing all the way through. We always have tea, coffee, lots of refreshments from the moment the participants arrive and this really facilitates an interaction between people so that they can see how each other's week has been, they can catch up. Abigail, who's a singer working on the project, will get us warmed up, get our voices going. Hello, hello. go over some of the music that we've already written for about half an hour, 45 minutes or so. About halfway through we go into the gallery and I introduce a painting. There's a ritual in coming up that path and entering the gallery as a group and being part of the paintings as a group. This project doesn't really work unless you can stand in front of the painting and experience it as it is right here. I think it's always good when you are creating something to have an inspiration and on this project the inspiration has been the beautiful pictures in the gallery. It's also been really good in the middle of the session to have a break to go and get some natural light. I have not pre-planned from week to week which paintings we'll look at. I really wait to see what's come out of the week before. I try and educate myself and then them about some of the things that they might like to know about the painting, how to decode it, how to read it. But I also quite like the more imaginative way in which you might play with what you're looking at. We want them to really capture some of that sense of the painting and the story that we've taken from it. We're not really looking at technical aspects, but more what effect emotionally and in terms of narrative the painting sparks in us. One of the decisions we made very early on was to bring the group every week to the gallery for eight weeks. This was integral to the programme rather than outreach because we were bringing participants from various different places so that they had somewhere in common to meet. When we come back we actually have a projection of that painting in the room here so it's, it, it's with us. We gather some of those ideas onto paper and choose from some of the things we've written down, words that might go together to make a lyric. Sometimes we use poetry form and sometimes we just gather the words that we think sound nice together and I think we've all developed quite an ear about what words actually feel nice in the mouth and what words are going to be nice to sing. The way that I like to generate music with a group is to go in with no preconception of what that music is and to ask people what they want to hear. So that could be anything from asking people what's the sound, what's the mood, to actually asking people to sing a melody, which we then all learn. And my job is to fashion the music together so that we end up with something really unique. Working with the older people is great because they're all contributing, they're all coming up with their own ideas and some of them say incredibly touching things about the music. We decided this year to have the performance in the gallery so that the participants could sing among the paintings that they've chosen to sing about. So that should be a nice way to conclude their journey through Dulwich Picture Gallery this year and a place that they can invite their guests to so that they can experience being the hosts at Dulwich Picture Gallery which I think is really important and hopefully will help them feel that they really belong here. I think what dementia does for many people is it isolates not only the person with dementia but sometimes the person looking after them as well and this is such a wonderful opportunity to include both people in something together that they can then share. I was only going to be the chauffeur and I was going to drop Brenda off and disappear I got really into it myself, you know, to into the show. I was pushing Brenda out of the way and I think, well, no, I'm going to go and enjoy it. It's really enjoyable. I think the challenge is we wanted to include as many people as possible 
So that of course means that you've got to keep your eye on everyone to make sure everyone's ideas and everyone's voice is heard. I've been really impressed and happy about how many people have contributed musical ideas. I think coming along to a session like this, if you haven't done anything like it before, those people bring a lot of anxiety, myself included. Any group has some people who are really vocal with their ideas and some people who are more happy to sit in the background and share fewer things and this, this group is very much like any group. The idea really is not about dementia at all, it's about a kind of experience that people who have dementia but also their carers can have together so that it's not about those everyday care activities but an experience in the moment rather than recalling past memory. Last year I forgot my lines, so it's a moment where you really can't tell which one of us is working here and which one of us is visiting here. I think that a lot of us who come here think that maybe our opportunities to be creative are in the past and this definitely disproves that theory and we're all involved in a common venture so we've got to know a lot of new good friends. Getting to know new people has been a great thing, especially people with dementia which is probably something I'll meet again in the future. We've also found through a project like Visual to Vocal that participants can do something together during the week and so the experience of art doesn't start and stop in the gallery, it happens when they get home, when they listen to the music together or they think of lyrics to a painting and it gives them a connection to the gallery that perhaps they didn't think they would have. So there's something in it for everyone and it doesn't have to be singing necessarily. We have a practice at home but I'm actually a terrible singer. He can sing wrongly. I found it immensely enjoyable. For somebody in their 80s, it's a real sort of growing experience. It's like helping to make a work of art. Today is our last day. It's the visual to vocal recital. We'll have a rehearsal here and then we'll go into the gallery for the final performance when all the guests will arrive. It should be a treat. I think I've got stage fright since it's about 60 years since I appeared on the stage. But I found the course so inspiring and I'd like to do it justice in the final performance. At the end of the day, the goal is that people come away from this feeling that life is more worthwhile. The benefits are massive. It's been with people who are sensitive, are so welcoming. It's lovely. I just feel so much better for the, for the singing and well, for all the company as well. I feel pleasant because I have been doing something that I absolutely love. You can't get much better than that, can you? <laughs>